Hayden Moore. He is the newest uh, Husker. He's a linebacker. And uh, he's at 6'3", 210 out of Colorado. A top 10 player in the state of Colorado. And I saw his offer list and a couple of the other schools that were the most recent in the running for him included Iowa and Michigan. So that says a lot. Uh, he had offers from Colorado and Iowa State and Iowa and UCLA, among among others. Um, yeah. So, you know, another get for, uh, you know, Coach Shenander on the defensive side of the ball. Ninth, the ninth commit in the 2023 class, and he was here watching uh, Friday Night Lights on Friday night here. And, um, you know, he had a great – great visit and obviously it must have went pretty well since he pulled the trigger but yeah he's at aurora colorado uh regis jesuit high school and <clears throat> yeah you know i think he fits right in with uh with what nebraska's defense is all about uh you know reminds me a lot like uh you know guys like nick henrich um that, that are on the roster right now and uh, you know he's he, he's going to either play Mike or Sam. That's what they're they're looking at him at. You know, um, you know, an off the ball type of linebacker. So yeah, I mean he's an athletic dude, and uh, he's got some length. And um, you know, they add a middle linebacker into this class, so it, it's all good, <clears throat> all good for Nebraska. And you know, it's nice to have. They always like to you know have that chance there or they've always got a, a pretty good chance there in that, uh, you know, that radius here of Colorado and Missouri and, and Kansas and Iowa to, to be able to pluck guys from. And, and that's another one. And I, I'm not going to say anything for sure, but I'm suspecting that I will be assigned to go see him play <laughs> at one point of the season here, this, this upcoming uh, high school season. So we'll see. you're going to have to head on out to uh, Aurora, Colorado, which is close to uh, Denver, correct? Yeah, it's a suburb of Denver. Yep. Yeah. I played there uh, in midget football. We uh, we were champions of our uh, of our league. And uh, they, we always uh, – the association was that uh, you'd go to Denver and play their, their opposing winners, and then you'd stay with uh, – You'd stay at the house of uh, the opposing team's player <laughs> and uh, hang out with them for the whole weekend. It was pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, they uh, they spanked us pretty good. I'll, I'll, I'll put it that way. <laughs> well, you got there. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But, you know, a seven-hour bus ride from Lincoln to, to Aurora, Colorado. Uh, I suspect I would fly. Well, maybe not. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, you got Brock Knutson as a commit as well, who's from Scotts Bluff, which is uh, only about uh, you know a couple uh, hour and a half, two hours from Denver. So uh, I, I suspect that uh, yeah, that re that that weekend just got a lot harder for me. I'm gonna have to find out if they can play or if they're playing on a uh, somebody's on a Thursday night and somebody's on a Friday night on the same weekend and uh, probably make that trip work out pretty good. Which, would, be, which, folks, would, be, which would mean flying into Denver and then driving to Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, and then back to Denver <laughs> and then fly home. Yeah. Hayden Fry, folks, or Hayden Moore. Hayden, Hayden Moore. Fry. Hayden hey. Fry. Uh, I, that would be something else, yeah, if he was back uh, eligible. Hayden <laughs> Moore. <laughs> 111 total tackles, 59 total tackles uh, this past varsity season. 11 tackles for loss, five sacks. So making a lot of plays. So he's tackled a few people in his life. So he knows how to do that. They play a pretty good high level of, uh, of high school football out there in, in the Denver area too. You know, so – it's a good pickup, definitely. Whenever you can get a top ten player from from a state, uh, you're doing pretty well. Absolutely.